Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight here at St. Patrick Hill Parish. Today's Mass is offered for the Wednesday of the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. And the presider for Mass tonight is Father Tom Rivera. Sponsors are Vicky <coughs> Gomez, Ron Panagali, and Jane Aramburu. We pray for our family, relatives, friends, and benefactors who are sick. Salvi Adsani, Dennis Bautista, Rene Boliosos, Salvador San Vicente, William Oliver, Ricardo Apasionado Jr., Jose Santiago Jr., Randy Aminde Dalocano, Celia Pano, Aurora Noche, Abigail Noche, Carmen Mojica, Virgie Gomez, Primo Banez, Pressy Latoya and Muriel Latoya. Mildred Nina, Sally Merced, Benjamin and Erlinda Lapa, Diana Halal, Susan Brink, Cecil Garcia, Wayne Cueto, Pamela Delgado, <coughs> Myrna Garcia, Orly Bernardino, Johanna Vinamira, Sue Tirol P, Rebecca Arregal, <coughs> Reverend Leoncio Santiago, Shannon Wilson, Rebecca Esconde Oblema, Jamalyn D. Blaze, Carlos and Myrna Papaki, Renato Agatpaka, Jerry Guarini, Lito Martinez, Carolina Reyes, Iwana Cruz, Irvin Joseph La Paz, Rhoda Emilio, Juanita Del Rosario, Carlito Castillo, Paul Miller, Catherine Gore, Jose and Vivian Pajaro, Riley Sotelo Padis, Norma Maracillan, Lloyd Chilka, William Gaba. Let us pray to the Lord. For the dead and the repose of the souls of Lourdes Montoya, <coughs> Armand Calama, Ed de Malanta, Reggie de Padua, Frank Rowley, Julia T. Alcantara, and Jesus Aramburo. And for the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. An announcement. There will be no novena on September 18th, Wednesday, to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Instead, please take note of the novena and mass schedule for the feast of St. Padre Pio from September 15 to 23. Thank you.
As children, of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous teacher to honor her and to pray for all our needs. And for the children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, the Savior of my Son, who redeem us by his death and resurrection, and redeem us to God, and that we should make us your children, to love one another in the past, and all the nations of the past, to the end of our lives in this time we give you, to the end of the season and the end of our brothers and sisters, to the end of the end of you, and the rest of our Father, who redeem us,
save from our heart those who have wronged us, that we might be great for us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others, that we might be great for us, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's good, that we might be great for us, that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community, that we might be great for us, that we may accept our responsibility for the community. The spirit of gentle service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with the influence of priestly and religious vocations. That we may care and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. That we may bring the guidance and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievement. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our little ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That we our departed brothers and sisters, we may share in your son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions.
there at the end. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Amen. Together today, inspired by the faith of the Blessed Mother and leading us always to Jesus, that the Lord, at the close of this day, is still attentive to us. Lord, you prepare us to finish this day in your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, when we have stumbled, when we have strayed during this day, you have brought us back. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, we entrust each moment, each hour, to your loving grace and gift of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, eternal help of believers, hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help, so that with their help restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And the name of the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could have come to you as a spiritual people, but as resident people, as infants in Christ. I fed you here, not so good, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able to eat it now, for you are still of the flesh. When there is jealousy and rivalry on you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos over all, and what is Paul? The ministers through whom you became believers. Just as the Lord assigned to each one, I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither do one who plants nor do one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and is to receive wages in proportion of his labor. For we are God's co-workers, we are God's building, God's building, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. song. Blessed the people of the Lord who has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people has chosen for its own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down to seize all mankind. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He also fashioned the heart of each. He who knows all their works. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Bless the 
as he did here in Omaha, have come to spread the good news. And as Paul said in the first reading to the people, how they got the Corinthians have to work together because you, you have to plant God's field, as he said, you have to build God's buildings. And so we have to have an even keel. We have to know what's really centered in our life. And uh, for me, this is just a, a fun way of reminding us of what Jesus does for us. He, he keeps us straight, level, brings us back when we're tilted one way or another for selfishness or sin or whatever else. Um, so that's one reason we come together in community to continue to listen to the scripture. You know, when you hear heard the scripture when we were 25 years younger, we could hear the same scripture today and it will say something different to us now because our life has moved on. So we thank the Lord for giving us steady encouragement and direction.
my brothers and sisters, that these gifts be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Since the moments of our life unfold, O oh God, according to your good pleasure, to seek the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious to them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health in Christ our Lord. Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, for your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, especially as he travels to Indonesia and surrounding countries, Blaise, our Bishop, all the clergy, especially our pastor, Father Eloy, as he tomorrow begins his retirement. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Patrick, Pio, Hilary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
here is Christ, who shows us, shows us the path to new life, hope, and love. Lord. And blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be in the dark. But don't you say the word of Christ?